Philip knows that I went to quite a traditional um, Pentecostal church, but when I went to youth camp, I saw young people worship, praise the Lord, lift their hands, speak in tongues, and I thought, it's only 11, I want that. And so I remember going out on a Wednesday night, lifting my hands, saying, God, I don't understand it, but I'm going to high school in three weeks' time, and I need your power. And I oh. felt the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit. I began to speak some little words, and I realized right then until right now, the river's still been flowing in my life. Hallelujah. And so, again, you know, encourage young people. It's almost become untrendy. It's almost become, well, that's a bit, you know, no. They, we need an encounter yes. with the Holy Spirit. At the age 11, Absolutely. I encountered the Holy Spirit, you know, came back, went to high school. But in high school, never really, I was never really sold out for the Lord. I never told anybody about Jesus. I, I went to the youth the church all weekend, but during the week, I, I wasn't living for the Lord. And then something happened when I was 16. My my cousin, who was a, who was a fisherman, 21 years old, loved the Lord, you know. Um, he was killed in a car crash. He lived in a little village called Gamery. He was taking his, his fiance home to Peterhead. Was that Jimmy? Well, we, we home from Peterhead. No, his name was William Jack. Okay. I, I, I might, I might, I, I, I'm, I'm speaking Scottish. I remember when Jimmy West was, was killed no, no, in a car wreck. And what happened was nobody knew to this day what happens in a straight bit of road, and he's gone. And I remember 20, his, his funeral was like two days before Christmas. He bought all his gifts that day for everybody, oh, and he wasn't there. And I was so angry with God. I was 16, and I was so angry. Why did you take him? He loved the Lord. And the Lord said to me, don't point your finger at me. Will you give me your life? And I remember at the age 16, maybe 17, getting down on my knees at the end of my bed and saying, God, if life can be as short as 21 years, I want to give you every single day. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I felt the presence of God again. At that time, the youth group had gone from about 30, 40 people down to about six or seven then the pastor in the next few weeks asked me, will you be a youth leader in church? I think you can be the youth leader. I was only 17. I was one of the youth, you know. But I said, God, if you can help me in this, I'll do it, you know. And honestly, over that next um, year, two years, God began to move in the youth. People come from Peterhead, um, everywhere, Banff, uh, Gamery, Aberdeen, Sunday night. And, and, you know, we used to have, in the old days, we had a, a guy on a piano, Peter Dreisel on a piano. But God said, get a band. And so we started up a band, you know, this is 1980s. And um, yeah. with a guy on the piano, with a guy on a bass guitar, I learned the guitar. And unheard all of a sudden, of in the Scotland, presence folks, of God. Unheard of, yeah. Oh, that was, that was radical. And you know what? Um, God began to move in the youth. And so many people give their life to Christ. And we, we just felt the presence of the Holy Spirit.